at home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about Matanita Espresso Machine. This thing does lattes, it does cappuccinos, and of course it does espressos. This is their model with a display on it. It also has a full brand new touch panel on the front with customizable features. So you can customize your latte, cappuccino, or espresso and get the exact amount you want for your cup. Not to mention the fact that this thing is not going to break the bank. It also has an Italian 20 bar pump, so it's going to produce that amazing espresso shot and give you exactly what you want time and time again, or at least that's what they hope. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said espresso machine. After that, I'm going to be putting this bad boy to the Atom Lucas test to figure out is it something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so not to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the Matanita Espresso Machine. Woo! Take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up the top here, you got the name of the company, Matanita is what I'm calling it. It might, might be called Matanata, I'm not sure. It's an espresso latte cappuccino machine. That is what's up, people. Down here, you got an image of what's to come in the box with the ability to make lattes, espressos, cappuccinos and more fancy drinks over here. All right, let's take a look at the back over here. So this is a high pressure espresso machine, precise temperature control, automatic cappuccino system. That is what's up people, stainless steel appearance, optimal espresso extraction, woo! Simple four step process, you insert the portafilter, you add your milk, you press your espresso, and then you press your latte or cappuccino. Boom, you got yourself a delicious cup. All right, let's get inside this box, people. Okay, this is everything that comes in the box, people. So you got your filter right here for your pods. You have your single shot right here for your espresso. You got your porta filter with the double shot already in there. This is gonna be a little bit difficult to get out at first. You're gonna have to really work it to get it out, but it will loosen up a little bit over time. The handle is great, nicely weighted. You got your metal tamper right here. So you're gonna be able to tamp down your coffee. And you're also going to scoop it real nice. Okay, so you're going to slot this on right here. There's an arrow down here showing you where it goes. It only goes in one way. Okay, then you're going to put the milk frother on. This piece right here slots right into there. Just like that. You lock it back here. Okay, let's go and walk around this bad boy right quick. So this thing is made out of stainless steel metal. As they said, it's got a really, really nice drip tray down here. You have your milk frother over here. Turn this dial to bring the milk frother out so it'll froth the milk straight into your cup. Porta filter goes right up into here. It goes in super easily. I really, really like how this company makes the seal so the porta filter could come in and out butter smooth. Really, really nice. Up the top here, you have your display dial, which I'm really, really excited about. It's gonna give us some information. There's some capacitive touch buttons down here. You got your power, your espresso, your cappuccino, and your latte. Really clean, very nice. Can't wait to plug this thing in. Of course, you got the name of the company right down here. Take a look at the side over here. Very clean. In the back, you got your 1.3 liter tank with a really, really easy handle to take it out, and then it flips up right here and then it literally just slots right back on boom you're good to go this is what it looks like on the other side you got a little spot up here if you want to put your filters right there okay first impressions i can't wait to get this thing powered up and get some espresso cappuccino and lattes made this thing looks awesome uh really excited to see what is going on with this display and some of the customization that we can do. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, here is my current Matanita espresso machine right here. Love this thing. Let's go ahead and get this cleared out. All right, there we go. That is the new machine right there. Let's go ahead and walk through some of the things you need to do before you get started 
Okay, so the first step you're gonna do is clean this thing out. So I put my portafilter in here with nothing in it. I filled this up with water. We're gonna hold down the latte button for eight seconds. And there you go, you can see it's flashing. That means it's in cleaning mode. So it's gonna clean this out, it's gonna clean that out, which is gonna get everything from the manufacturing nice and cleaned out. Now we're gonna load up the porta filter with some finely ground espresso coffee. All right, there we go, some beautifully ground coffee. Let's go ahead and tamp this down. Another thing to pay attention to is there is a max fill line right there, so you don't wanna go above that. All right, let's go ahead and make our first espresso extraction. We're gonna be doing a double shot, so we're gonna tap this twice. It's gonna turn blue. There we go. All right. Line that up perfectly. Look at that extraction, people. Wow. That is incredible. Look at that crema right there, people. That is what I call a consumer-friendly machine right there. You literally load it up with espresso ground coffee, tamp it down, press a button, and you have a perfect espresso shot. All right, let's get into this beautiful espresso shot. So they recommend a light to medium roast. This is a light roast right here. The aroma is definitely on the fruity light roast smell, but man, this is a beautiful looking espresso shot. Let's get into the sip. That was hot. <laughs> Whoa, that was hot. All right, the flavor though. Woo, that is a flavor explosion. Mm. Mm. It's not getting any cooler. Woo. Wow, that is a phenomenal espresso shot right there. So much flavor, so much punch. You're definitely gonna be able to add your cream and sugar to this and have a delicious cup of coffee. Really, really enjoyable. First go, people, that is the first go and it's already a amazing espresso shot. These machines, they're, they're consumer friendly. It's so amazing. Wow, all right, let's get to the cappuccino. Woo! Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and set the temperature. So what you do is you hold down on the espresso button and the latte button at the exact same time for five seconds. All right, now we've entered into the temperature mode. So the way that this works is this is low temperature, this is medium temperature, and this is high temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the latte button right here. And there you go. Now the temperature is set to the hottest temperature this machine can offer. And of course, if you want to change it back, you just simply come back here and you press the cappuccino button. That is medium, that is the default setting. And there you go, it's just that simple. Okay, let's go ahead and make a cappuccino. So the first thing you're gonna do is take off the milk frother. What I do is I grab and I push with my thumb at the top right here, and then I kind of pop it out of the bottom. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you're supposed to do it, but that's the way I've been doing it, and it works really, really well. Okay, this comes off super easily. You just pull the top just like that. One thing to take note of is definitely put the amount of milk in here that you're gonna be using for the cappuccino or latte. So um, you wanna try to figure out which is the right amount for each cup, or if you're gonna do multiple cups, figure that out, and that way you don't have to throw away milk or whatnot. And the way that I've been putting this back in, just slide it in just like that. I put my hand on the left side over here and I just push right in the back and you hear that first beep and then you lock it back here and you hear the second beep. Now it's ready to go. You can see the two lights turned on over here. All right, there we go. Another perfectly tamped, 
just under the max fill line. Very beautiful. Okay, you always wanna make sure that your wand is pulled out, otherwise it's gonna shoot milk straight down where you don't want it to go. All right, so we're gonna do a single shot of cappuccino. So we're just gonna hit the cappuccino button right here. There we go. All right, let's get into this cappuccino sip test. Oh, that's looking beautiful right there. You can see it's still slowly becoming that sort of cappuccino. Now it's definitely recommended to use a, an actual cappuccino cup, which is shorter, um, it's wider. This is actually more of a espresso or a latte cup, small latte, I should say. Um, but this is the only clear glass that I have that'll hold this amount of liquid, so I have to use it for the filming. But Nonetheless, this is a cappuccino. Let's give it the sip. Wow. <laughs> that is delicious right there. I think I got the exact right amount of coffee to milk ratio. Uh, no sugar, no creamer, no nothing. Just straight up milk and espresso. Woo, that is delicious. Mm. Man, there's so much flavor in there. It's so sweet, so delectable. Wow, that's amazing. Coming up, we're gonna be getting over to the latte. Okay, one very important thing is once you've finished making a latte or a cappuccino, you need to flush out this part of the machine up here. And the way to do it is you just hold down on your latte button for three seconds. And now it's going to clean this out. See that, that is milk residue that's left up in here. Once that's cleaned out, you can take this off and put it in the refrigerator. And it's gonna run for probably a minute or so and make a bunch of steam, so don't worry about that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and make a latte. So we're gonna hit the latte button right here. Oh, that is very nice. All right, let's get into this latte sips. Once again, cup is definitely on the smaller side. I would want this to be twice as big for a traditional latte, uh, but this is what I got. So let's go ahead and give it the sip. Take a minute to look at how beautiful that is. That is a great looking latte right there. Whoa. Oh, that is tasty. Wow, it really does have a different taste from the cappuccino, which means this machine is definitely working to create that latte that you're expecting. Hmm. Oh, that is delicious. Yeah, you got that milk first, espresso second taste. Very, very good. Hmm. Yeah, you could definitely drink these things all day long. Phenomenal super, super user-friendly. Add your syrups and your sugars to this and you got yourself something that rivals the Starbuckses of the world. Let's take a minute to talk about this display right here. So this display is uh, a little bit uh, more straightforward than I originally thought. So it basically does a timer. That is the main function. And one of the things when you're doing an espresso extraction is to know how long it took to do that extraction. And there's a lot of people out there that'll be very happy that there's a built-in timer. It also displays a timer when you're making your latte or your cappuccino or doing anything where you're brewing up something with this machine. Also, when you're cleaning it, it'll show you a timer as well. Okay, let's talk about some things that this doesn't do. So it'd be really cool if this displayed how much fluid ounces was gonna go into your cup. 
um, that would be really awesome. So if you customize your cappuccino or your latte, it'd be awesome if you could see, okay, I customized it to four ounces of froth milk to 1.2 ounces of espresso. So that would be really cool if they could give you more readout in this dial than they actually do. Um, so it's a little bit more of a fun display. It does some really cool stuff while brewing um, and while cleaning. It really has some cool stuff that happens, but it's very much just a countdown timer uh, just to let you know how long it's been running. And you could kind of figure out, okay, if I ran it for you know 30 seconds and it filled up 2.5 ounces of froth milk, then you know um, if you double that, it's going to double the froth milk. So that's something you have to do on your own. You have to figure out how much time has elapsed and then figure out how much um, it's filled up. So that's something that is definitely um, something I wish it would do. It's a, like I said, it's a little bit more of just a, um, I'm not going to call it a gimmick, but it's definitely a little bit more of like, hey, we can put this timer here and have it run while the machine's running. And that's kind of it. So there you go, that is what this bad boy does. Okay, I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review. And let's just start off with the milk frother steamer right here. This thing is awesome. The only thing I wish is that they would upgrade this and make it a little bit taller. There's a few times where I've wanted to be able to just get a little bit better um, of a grip and not have to pinch it as much. So sometimes when this thing is being used a lot it gets a little bit slow and a little bit sluggish and i wish that was just a little bit bigger um, but that's just my pet peeve just something they could update also it would be cool if this was also a warmer right here for your small espresso cups that would be kind of cool but it's not another thing that would be great is if the milk could dispense down into here uh, for overflow or something or if this was usable down here i don't know why i think uh, this is a drip tray. This should also be a drip tray, but that's just me picking nits. Um, it's amazing that you can pull this thing off, put it in the fridge, put it back on, boom, you're good to go. Once you figure out the cleaning process and you learn to clean this thing every time, it's amazing. It really does a phenomenal job. It uh, makes some amazing frothed and steamed milk. Uh, really, really awesome. And then the ability to just send hot water out of that as well is really nice. So this thing is a huge addition to this machine. Without it, I would not be happy. Um, once you jump over here, you got your nice heat warmer up here that keeps this really warm. That's awesome. The display is a little bit of a letdown, but I was kind of going in with high hopes. Um, and once you learn what it is, it's really simple and really straightforward. Um, the button pressing over here is phenomenal. The touch panel, really, really awesome. The ability to make espressos, cappuccinos, lattes in a matter of seconds is a huge win with this machine. Absolutely love the way that it extracts coffee and frosts the milk and steams the milk. Big thumbs up, absolutely amazing. The stainless steel body is super awesome. You can clean this thing in a matter of seconds to keep it shiny and clean so when your friends and family come over, boom, you got yourself a nice latte bar uh, machine to make with them. You also have this really nice portafilter right here with a great weighted handle. It feels absolutely amazing. So all in all, I'm gonna give this thing a solid 4.95 star rating. Yes, people, this is a solid machine. You're going to buy it on a cheap. It's not super expensive. It's not going to break the bank. And you're going to be able to make some amazing cappuccinos and lattes and espresso shots all in this machine right here that's easy to clean and holds a lot of water. So highly recommended to everyone out there. Buy it. All right, there you go. That's the brand new Matanita Espresso Machine. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click, to click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 7K. Yes, people, on my way to 8K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is put the milk frother on the side here. So it goes right where this arrow is. So it goes right down here where this arrow is.